Now we're on to probability. We're going to have a couple of sections, well, quite a few sections on probability. Here's the first. Suppose, as an example, you can look on the back of California, California lottery tickets, the scratchers, and it'll tell you what the odds of winning are. Let's say the odds of winning are 1 in 5. So, suppose you bought 10 tickets because you really wanted to make sure you won something. Suppose they're all losers. Well, if there's 10 tickets and 1 in 5 should win, you should have had 2 winners, but you didn't. Well, what's the probability? Is there a 5% chance that that could happen? Is there a 2% chance that could happen? 20%? What, what is the likelihood that you're going to get 10 losers in a row? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. But should it happen very often? No. Now, up the odds, or excuse me, up the stakes. Suppose that you bought a hundred of those lottery tickets and now they're all losers. Well, now that's really, really unlikely that they're all losers. But do you have enough evidence to, say, sue the California Lottery Commission for false advertising? With $100 worth of lottery tickets, probably not. And the amount lawyers cost, you probably just should forget about your $100. So how many do you expect would have won? Well, if it's one out of five that win, all you have to do is divide by five. We should have had 20 winners. Okay, so in probability, when we use the word event, it's one possible outcome of an experiment. You buy one lottery ticket, the event could be, I'm going to win. The event could be, I'm going to lose. We're going to use capital letters at the beginning of the alphabet for events. So when it, so when it is written like this, P of A, then that stands for probability of A. Back to an example. If you're not really familiar with cards, you might want to just Google uh, playing cards and then go to images. So suppose you have this deck of 52 cards, that's a standard deck, and it's shuffled so that it's random, and draw one card. So the event A is going to be draw a queen. What's the probability of drawing a queen? Well, it's out of 52 cards, and do you know how many queens there are? That's right, four. So it's going to be four out of 52, or if you divide it and change it to a percent, 7.7%. So in general, you try, when asked for the probability of A, you try to figure out, well, how many ways can A occur? Like with the last one, there was four queens. And then what is the total number of outcomes possible? With 52 cards, we had 52 for the denominator. Another example, what's the probability of having a birthday on October the 13th? Well, you got to think, how many October 13s are there? One. And how many days are there? Well, we could technically say there's 365 and then we've got the leap year to consider, but let's just, sorry for those people that had their birthday on leap year, let's just go with 365 days in a year. What about the probability of being born on a Monday? Well, you could, if you're going to make uh, life complicated, you could say, okay, in, in 2014, we've got 365 days in a year. How many Mondays do we have on the calendar? And then go find a calendar and you go count. But it would be easier to just say, how many Mondays are there? There's one every week. So there's one out of every seven days. And then let's go back to the cards. So find the probability. So again, draw one card that you draw a red nine. So how many red nines are there? Well, there's the nine of hearts and the nine of diamonds. So there's two out of the 52. Or when you divide it, it's 3.8%. And for the last one, what's the chances that you draw an eight or a spade? So it's one card. It could either be an eight and there are four eights. But one of those eights is the eight of spades. So you've got to be careful you don't double count the eight of spades when you count the eights and when you count the spades. Well, for spades, there are 13 spades. So if I say 
there's 13 spades, but I already counted the eight of spades when I counted the eight. Then for the spades, I have to say there's 12 of them. So we've got the four cards that are eights. One of them is an eight of spades. Then when you count the spades, you have to take one out, that eight of spades. So it's going to be the 12 plus 4 is 16. So there's 16 out of 52.